here, and today we are going to be rocking the Wheel of Fortune to unlock Yi Sun Shin. We also, <laughs> we also are about to do a little bit of Mightiest Governor training to unlock Theodora. We are 30 minutes from reset, so if you are live watching this now, huzzah, you're going to see this as it all unfolds. And for those of you watching later, jump ahead 30 minutes if you want to see the unlock of this commander. Let's get this thing started. If you like Rise of Kingdoms guides that help you get value and smash your enemies, consider smashing that subscribe button for daily Rise of Kingdoms videos. We are a sponsored creator, and now that all of that is said and done, let's take our eyes to the chat. Yeah, a universal wheel would be a super bummer if that's what we end up getting here. We're pretty sure that the Wheel of Fortune we're about to get is going to be YSS. We'll unlock that commander. We'll take them for a spin on the battlefield, see what they can do. Their skills aren't going to be maxed. You know, it's it's just going to see what the skill animation looks like, play around with a little bit. Should be a good time. Hello, Reza, Baron AJ, and Gareth, all members of the channel, as well as Vasera. You need to spin my wheel too. Oh, baby. Vasera talking Jemmy to me over here. Let's start with one of the first things we need to do. We need to get into position for our mightiest governor training. We do have a good bit more training we need to do. So I'm going to go in and request the Duke in the kingdom chat. Duke, please, you are the best. Kissy face. All right. Hit OK. Boom. All right. So that request should be in to Kingdom Chat now. When we have the Duke, we'll fire up our training. We are going to use some 20k extenders uh, so that we can, first of all, do this in a timely fashion so that other people can get the Duke after we're done here. Looks like I might be Duke now. All right. We got to go do this. And the thing we need to train, by the way, is cavalry. Cavalry is the thing that we desperately need after this last KVK. So let's fire this thing off. First thing we're going to do is just clear out the training of T5 troops that we had that was almost done. We'll fire up some new troops that are T5 because we've got all these awesome buffs. We have a 15% rune. We have the Duke title. We have all the right holy sites. We got all the right stuff, baby. Should I start singing? All oh, the right stuff. I don't even know how that song goes. Okay, so, boom. Now is when we start to use some of these 20k extenders. We are going to use a non-trivial amount of them. I want to say we start with like six. Seems like a pretty easy number. We'll see how this goes. Six 20k extenders worth of T5 calves. Let's bring them into the house here. Boom. And we are going to use the day-long speed-ups and the 15-hour speed-ups, then rock out some of those training speeds we've got cooking up here. We are cruising right now through the speed-ups, gaining power. Do y'all like watching when we do a boatload of training? I'm pretty sure that answer is yes. I feel like these live streams are usually pretty popular. Are you taking players under 10 million in Kingdom 75? We most certainly are. We have created spaces in Zone 3 for folks of all power levels. And, you know, the intention is to create a nice long-term home for folks to grow. If they like Kingdom 75, they'll grow here and, you know, that'll be really awesome. If some folks end up not liking it, then, you know, look, they enjoy the, you know, daily kingdom buffs, power up a bunch, they go somewhere else, and that's totally fine too, you know. Uh, here we go, doing more speeds here. We got to stay laser focused so that other people can get in their training too. Boom, knock that out. And we'll get a quick look at the board here. We're doing good, but we need to get up to about 64 mil from this portion of the event. So we definitely have more training to do. Boom. 15 days of speed ups. Have you ever seen the speed ups fly by so fast? Oh my goodness. 
So we've done that, and actually, we need to do more. Man, we got to fire up another, I mean, we can do another five of these pretty easy. Four, let's start four. Four of these 20Ks. Normally, I've done a bit more of the math in advance, but it's a, it's a crazy dynamic life, people. It's a crazy dynamic life. We got a baby, a wife, we work, and so on, and so on. A lot of responsibilities, and yet... We wanted to get in this live stream to hang out with you all, to unlock this commander, to see what we think, have a good time. Right now, Mightiest Governor Training Time. I love Mightiest Governor Training Time. It's a good time. All right, here we are. Do we have more 20Ks going? We do. Here it is. Fire that up. Get the training going. Boom. And boom. We'll be paying much more attention to the chat as soon as we have finished up this portion of what we need to get done here. We're going to rock another four 20K extenders here. Go to our boosts. Four of those should move us along pretty nicely. Here we go. Getting those T5 cavalry back into great fighting shape. Man, it feels good to have a nice roster of T5 cavalry again. We were down to like eight or nine hundred thousand after kvk for t5 cavalry and for most people okay i get that that's a lot but we had like two and a half million before kvk started turns out if you basically rally with uh attila takeda non-stop for an entire kvk um yeah and you use a three hundred ten thousand expansion uh you know with troops in it for every single rally and you defend stuff you lose a lot of troops <laughs> you lose a lot of troops all right so we're doing our training here we're almost done with our Mightiest Governor training. Looking pretty good. There we go. Okay, now, how are we? Great. This is a great... I think we're where we need to be. Um, we can make up more of the difference here in the kill event and a couple other places. So we're going to lock in a few more calves at the T5 level. We'll go into uh, the chat here and say, TY, very much, all done. Boom. Okay. Now we can hang out with the chat. We did that pretty quickly. In like less than five minutes, didn't we just gain like four million power, five million power? Is that what we just did? Ready to kick something's butt. Hmm, interesting. I don't know what that comment is. Long may he reign. Is long may he reign in the chat? Oh, long may he reign is in charge of re recruitment. Um, you know, for folks that are interested in coming to Kingdom 75, we do have a Discord. You can check out the Discord linked in the migration video I posted a couple days ago. I enjoy this kingdom. We, ha we certainly have our drama. Just like every kingdom in the game, we have our trauma, and every kingdom has its own unique little flares. But in general, I think we're trending in a great direction here. If we look at the alliance power, um, I'm really happy with how RX and X and like all the alliances have been really growing. It's quite nice. It's quite nice. Uh, Monster Inc. Very good question. If I'm above 35 million power, can you join an Imperium Kingdom? You can, but in order for that to happen, the kingdom has to. Let me just. Okay. They do see I'm done. Very good. Duke is free. Duke is free. Let it be. Let it be. Okay, so if you go in to the Lost Temple and you go to the immigration view, you can see here that we can set the cap, but we're Imperium, so 35 million power is the best we can do for folks to migrate in. If we head over, there are special immigration chances that we get. We can bring in one person every month uh, that is over 35 million power, which means that player is likely going to be 80 plus million power with a boatload of kills and a beast reputation and all around quality we get along with them and so forth. So um, kingdoms can take you, but it's pretty difficult. It's pretty difficult. Your best bet is most likely to not go to an Imperium kingdom. 
Just what's the best pair for Saladin, Boy from the Dreams? You know, um, Saladin Takeda is a really solid pairing. It's extremely tanky. I see people use that as their off lane in Canyon, and it does extremely well. So that Saladin Takeda is a very, very solid pairing. Saladin right over here. Takeda, boom, right over there. What's your favorite commander from each tier? I mean, what I'll say is that Isong and Sun Tzu are phenomenal commanders. They are just freaking phenomenal. Now, am I excited about the new commanders? Absolutely. For city defense? Woohoo! I think they're going to be the jam. And since I have a reputation of kind of getting myself rallied every now and again, it seems like a pretty good idea. This KVK was the first KVK... That's not true. Last KVK, I didn't get rallied either. I don't think I got rallied last KVK. All right, well, the last KVK and this KVK, I haven't gotten rallied. Is Sun good at 5111? Um, if you're referring to Ison Shin, I would say no. It's not really a commander you want to use for this activity. I mean, yeah, I, I feel like, I don't know, we could really look at this. 5% defense and damage bonus is not amazing. 10% defense, 5% damage, 5% shield for 300 counter to, I, I, you know, just use Sun Tzu, I feel like is the play here. Um, it's possible that you could use YSS, but, you know, double expertise epics, I think it'll, it'll do the job quite well. Smash that love button, fam. I appreciate the feedback, Rich. And the support. I can't wait to spin a wheel finally. I know, Spartan, right? Right? Wheel time, baby. It's almost wheel time. I'm really looking forward to this Wheel of Fortune. I'm really pumped about it. Baron AJ. First con wheel tonight. Unlock, then save gems for later or go in, all in on max spin. Almost done with Esong. You know, I talk a lot about con in my latest legendary tier list, and I bumped him down a little bit in my rating of him. Um, he is a good commander. He is just okay in the open field. He didn't have a particularly predominant role in the Altar of Darkness and Ancient Ruins. Um, and given your future formats for that will be just like one march a person, I just... I'm not in fan with the march speed reduction in that context. You, you know, have a 25% swing in your, you know, speed there. It's a big deal. So, I, I, you know, if you're limited on gems, I think a 5511 con is really good. I think my expertise con, I still get a lot of value in a bunch of uh, Soroli-related events, both the Assault and the Crisis. But, but if you're limited, I don't know, might try some other stuff. Baz, good to see you. Paradox, what am I drinking? Chocolate tea. Chocolate tea, as per usual. We got chocolate tea over here, and we got our Soda Stream seltzer over here. I should I should totally put an affiliate link for a Soda Stream in my <laughs> in my description, but whatever. I do really like seltzer, quite frankly. I was one of those people that didn't really like seltzer. I was like, why would you drink that? And then I started drinking it and I was like, why haven't I been drinking this? So, you know, whatever. Um, can you get rallied in KVK to see how good the new commander is? I'll try my darndest. I'll try, I'll try my darndest. Oh my gosh. Baz is getting their first Alex wheel tonight. Let me tell you the Alex wheel. Now that is the truth. Alex wheel is the truth. It is really nice, by the way. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna call this out. It is really nice that we uh, seem to not have a line for the Duke right now, and the reason that's the case is that we do two training buffs during the Mightiest Governor training portion of this event. So there's eight hours of Kingdom buff for troop training if you want it, which is pretty nice. Pretty nice. Eight hours is a very long time. Um, and we hit multiple time zones so that, you know, multiple uh, regions in the world can have it be convenient for them for troop training. We're going to, I guess, go get one of these food runes over here. Food rune it is. Um, ooh, Max, $5 super chat. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Chiss has a baby to feed. That's very sweet of you. 
That's very sweet of you. We have no problem feeding the baby, but thank you for the $5 super chat. Much appreciated. Oh my gosh. First day of KVK2 as well. Ooh, KVK2 is a good one. That's, that's KVK, KVK2 is a good one. KVK2 is a lot of fun. What's the best pairing for Alex in a new kingdom? Um, I mean, in a new kingdom, you're just unlocking your Alex. You'd probably want either Sun Tzu or, I mean, in a perfect world, like a Constantine would be really good. Um, even Martell. Honestly, Martell with Sun Tzu, or Martell with Alex would be really good as well. Martell with Alex would be really good. Nikki Bergen, good to see you. Thanks for those emojis. Hype emojis and the dollar sign emojis. I never got a KVK do. Gosh bless, Spartan, you didn't get a KVK too. But, hey, you got to do KVK 3 and 4 with us. That was a good time, right? Was that not a good time? Am I going to expertise YSS? I hope so, but not today. Definitely not today. I'm going to wait until... Literally, a new commander shows up on the Wheel of Fortune before I drop universals into a wheel commander. This is very important. Public service announcement. You want to hold off on those universal sculpture investments on commanders that come from the Wheel of Fortune until the wheel is fully spun. That gives time for bigger spenders to go figure out whether or not the commander is even any good. Second of all, it gives you an opportunity to get the maximum amount of value possible from the Wheel of Fortune. And baby, that wheel is good value Speaking of value, Brandon Horst, thank you for becoming a member of the channel. As a member of the channel, your name is going to show up in green. You get a badge showing how long you've been a member, and you get all the custom channel emojis. Let's get those hype emojis welcoming Brandon to the channel. And Jake F. for the $2 super chat, opinion on Alex and Guan Yu. I love that combo. Make Guan the primary Guan Alex is what I use in Ark of Osiris in the open field. I used it a bunch in the Altar of Darkness and Ancient Ruins. It's got a ton of march speed. The shielding gives Guan the sustain he needs. The damage is real. I like the pair a lot. Um, and Brandon Horse, thank you for the $5 super chat. Go get your legend bundle. Thanks for your videos. Much appreciated, you know... I think we do need to go get a bundle. Gosh darn it. We do need to go get a bundle. Is it? It is even reset. It might just be time for the old hammer and anvil. The old hammer and anvil. We're going to need a lot of gems to, to sort of max spin the wheel. And that is what we're going to be doing. So let's start to purchase the old hammer and anvil bundle. Here we go. Let's get the old spend blocker. Where are you at? Where are you at? We'll get the spend blocker up on the screen. Boom. All right. Here we are. First purchase is on its way. Very nice. Uh, ooh. Okay, interesting. That didn't work. Uh, cancel. Try again. Try again. Do over. Do over? What? Oh, weird. All right, hold the phone, people. Hold the phone. I actually, I gotta go fix this. Hold on. Hold on. First of all, I'm pretty sure I saw a new super come in. It's even better. We've got a new member of the channel. Is that so? Blessed Youth 051, thank you for becoming a member of the channel. You get the badge showing how long you've been a member. Your name is in green, which makes it so much easier for me to see and respond to your messages in the chat. And you get the custom channel emojis. Let's get those hype emojis, welcoming them to the channel. Thank you so much for your support. Okay, I have a problem. I'm being blocked from purchasing my bundle right now. What in the world? So let's do this. We've got to go and solve that problem, or maybe we just purchase bundles later. I'll, I'll just do it later. I'll just hit cancel. We'll just hit cancel. I got more than enough gems for the next two days, assuredly, assuredly three days too. It's going to be fine. We'll take down the old spend blocker in just a moment. Boom. All right. Well, that's purchase later. Let's we'll purchase later. Apple. 
too secure for your own good here. All right. We got another super chat in here. Muhammad uh, Azim Hashmi with the two pound super chat. Thank you for that donation. Saladin and Takeda maxed. Attila next or Khan? Definitely Attila. I found myself really astonished that Attila was extremely good in the open field. Attila did work. Um, and a part of that might have been that I don't think the battle reports were showing AoE damage as much as they should have in this KVK. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure there. But it, I'll tell you, Attila Takeda is really good. Really good. You can rally with it. You can open field with it. It's it's a really exceptional pair. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Definitely would recommend it. Is my child a boy or a girl? We do have a sweet little girl. She is the sweetest thing on the face of the earth. Do you prefer Guan Alex or Alex Esong? I prefer Guan Alex. I prefer the Guan Alex. I think that combo works extremely well. I think that combo works extremely well. Thank you, Nick, for renewing your membership to the channel. I see you've got that yellow badge. Much appreciated. Thank you for your continued support. Let's get those hype emojis for Nick, who has continued their membership to the channel. Holy moly. This stream is crazy. I can barely keep up. I love it. <laughs> so... We are minutes away from having a Wheel of Fortune. I got foiled in my attempt to go purchase more gems. It's crazy. It's crazy. What's going on here? But we have more than enough for today. We'll be purchasing probably the next two days, the Hammer and Anvil. We are dangerously close, dangerously close to being able to craft the Pendant of Eternal Night. Pretty psyched about that. Where do I think that's good? Where do I think that's good? I think this thing is going to be really crazy for potentially defending structures. I mean, like, can you imagine? Just, just throwing it out there. We use the city skin we have now, which is going to give 5% skill damage. I use that Pendant of Eternal Night, 5% skill damage on top. Then I go in and I use the Civilization Ottoman Empire. 5% skill damage on top. You see where this is going? Then you use two commanders that do ridiculous amounts of skill damage. I'm just saying, it could be good. It could be good. Am I maxing YSS immediately? No. I'm, I'm a big spender in this game. I spend um, typically about two grand a month, which is a lot of money for a mobile game. And um, I like to always say, right, like, Get your family priorities, saving for retirement, all that other stuff lined up before you spend in a mobile game. I'm a pretty big advocate. I'm no financial advisor, but I think that's really important stuff. Um, but if you are, you know, spending in a mobile game, um, the best value is going to be right over here. The 30-day gem supply is really quite good. <clears throat> and I've been buying a lot of the hammer and anvil for equipment. Because if I want my commanders to have edge, and I do, that's the way I have to go. Um, I would like to be able to get a lot of speed-ups as well from other bundles that have them. But uh, for now, Hammer and Anvil is kind of what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Two more months for my one-year badge. Very nice, Spartan. One-year badge. That is pretty amazing. Don't forget to claim your rewards. Claim my rewards. What rewards have I forgotten to claim here? What rewards have I forgotten to claim? These rewards? Huh? Finish gathering? That's nice. Chiskool, opinion for Esong now. I think Esong's amazing. Esong's still ridiculous. How is he so ridiculous? He rallies, he defends, he open fields. The dude does everything. It's the first commander you should invest in, hands down. It's just invest in Esong. And you never have to look back. We're five minutes away from this new commander hitting the board. I'm super pumped. Mightiest Governor is looking pretty reasonable. Um, and uh, our position will be fifth. 
So I'm going to get 40 sculptures in this Mightiest Governor, which I'm good with. I'm good with that. I'll have the unlock. And I think the reality is that most people, like, if you're in a big Imperium Kingdom, like, most people need to expertise the commander with their universals, you know? Um, Bless Youth 51, thank you for the $2 super chat. Can you migrate to a kingdom before KVK Season 1? I don't think you can. I don't think you can. I could be wrong there. I could be wrong. I don't think you can. I think you only can migrate to a kingdom that's finished their Season 1 of KVK. But I could be wrong, so it would be worth a double check on that. Uh, yeah. Lol, I asked one question five times, no answer. I apologize, hardball balls, that I have missed your question. There is a lot of chats going on. Just how many chats? So glad that you asked. There is uh, one chat every four seconds. So it's pretty tricky for me to keep up with the chat. I try to do the best that I can. Y'all are the best audience in the world. I feel very fortunate to be able to play a mobile game and have you all tune in to hang out with me as we do this. We're going to experience this on the account for the first time in just a moment at reset. We'll probably have to force quit and reopen just to make all our quests work. And I don't know if you have that problem at reset. I do. Anyways, we force quit, we reopen, and we'll jam out over here and we'll see what we think of the new commander as soon as they hit. What am I most excited about about YSS? Um, I'll tell you. The thing that I'm most excited about is the fact that he did, he just has so many universally good stats. Doesn't matter what the troop type is. So for defending your city, it just seems completely gangbuster. Completely gangbuster. Confirmation from Umax that you cannot uh, join a kingdom before KVK Season 1. Good to know. You good to know. Uh, and someone else says you can migrate. So you can migrate out of a kingdom that has not had their first KVK yet, but I don't think you can go into a kingdom. Oh, Last Spartan says I did. Migrated to a kingdom for KVK1. Interesting. So maybe you can. Maybe you can. If Spartan did it, that seems pretty doable then. Um, you only can if it's in the same continent, says Baz. Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay. Huh. Who would you use as a primary? Level 40 Richard or level 60 Sun Tzu? I'd say the, the 60 Sun Tzu for sure. Uh, the 20 levels is no joke. 20 levels is a lot of commander effectiveness. That is a lot of commander effectiveness. And you don't want to miss out on that, quite frankly. You don't want to miss out on that. Unless you're lower than City Hall 8. Hmm. Baz, $5 super chat. You can migrate to a kingdom before KVK1, but it can only be in your same continent. All right, cool. There we go. There we go. We got the answer, and thank you for the super chat. Much appreciated. We have a chat firing off every two seconds right now. So uh, 30 chats a minute. We're actually up to almost 40 chats a minute. <laughs> so basically, I get to glance at the chat, see a very short question, and maybe respond to it. So if your question is long, try to find a way to make it short so that I can respond to it. Um, Zeal Dev, thank you for the PLN25 donation. Let's hope Wheel will be more gentle than the evil garden. <laughs> ah, garden of Infinity, why? Why do you thwart me, Garden of Infinity? We're one minute away, one minute away from the reset, from getting this new commander. If you're enjoying this live stream, consider dropping a like onto the stream and subscribing for daily Rise of Kingdoms videos. You want to see if these commanders are good? Baby, we'll show you if these commanders are good. Oh yes, we'll have video featuring the brand new commanders. And there it is. Reset is in. We are going to rock the old force quit. And boom, reopen Rise of Kingdoms. Here we go. Here we go. New commander time. Brand spanking new commander as I knock my glasses together here. Okay. What do we start with? We go in. Here he is. Here he is. The Wheel of Fortune. YSS is on the wheel. Crack the knuckles, stretch it out. Let's get this free spin and see how we do. Will there be value for me? Boom, baby. One sculpture off the bat feels pretty good. We'll do the 50% off spin. And 
Gold is fantastic. We really do need a lot of gold. Time to get those 5x spins rolling. We're up to one sculpture so far. I do like the universal. Universals are good. Double gold star, double gold star again. Training speed ups, we definitely need those. And now we have two sculptures cooking up for YSS. We're going to rock another five spot, and that will get us the next tier of chest unlock. We have three YSS sculptures, four YSS sculptures, and I almost thought we were going to have five. That was pretty cool. We got the uh, double star and some stone, as well as some research speed ups. That's the pity like button for those of you that were on my last live stream, which was hilarious. So, We'll claim those sculptures. We'll claim these sculptures. We are one sculpture away from our YSS unlock. We are going to smash that 5X button. And hopefully we get it this spin. We've got two stars. There you go. We can unlock the brand spanking new commander. And oh yes, we definitely will. Here we go. Two sculptures in the bank and a universal to boot it's time to unlock and summon YSS. This is what we have been waiting for. I mean, I won't keep you waiting any longer. We're going to smash summon. There he is. I love the look of this commander. He is totally beast with that upper body that is, I mean, like, teeny itty bitty waist. Huge upper body. Let's confirm. That's normal human proportioning right over there if I've ever seen it. So we're going to take... YSS out on the battlefield. We can't buy this right now because we got to figure out our freaking spending. We'll buy that in a bit. For those of you that don't know, Writer of History is some outrageous value. I'm going to commit a cardinal sin and bring home this gatherer. Don't worry, fam. We'll clean up that node later. We'll clean up that node later. We've got to take YSS onto the battlefield and see what he can do, okay? We got to see what he can do. Huge delay in the chat and the video. Interesting. Eight spin for Spartan. Eight spin for Spartan. Holy moly. Congratulations, Spartan, on your eight spot spin. Let's take a commander out onto the battlefield. We're going to get our Lohar. Where are you at, buddy? Oh, well, I got an easy solution for that. Lohar, and we'll take YSS. And I'm going to bring only 100,000 calves. Right? Like something like that. And let's go hit a barb. Let's go hit a barb. Here we go, baby. Here we go. New skill. What does it look like? What do we got cooking up? Here we go. Battle is in. How does it look? How does it look? I don't even remember what it reads. I think it's like 2,000 damage factor if it's maxed. And? Oh, he gets anchored. What? What? Dude! <laughs> Eat Anchor! <laughs> oh my gosh. Eat Anchor. Eat Anchor, Calvin. Eat Anchor. We gotta... We, that's, that is awesome. I think that is really awesome. For those who don't know, I'm pretty sure Yi Sunjin was a admiral. I'm pretty sure he was an admiral, so... The anchor actually makes a ton of sense, even though it looks... I mean, like, uh, this is amazing. Anchor from the sky. Get anchored. <laughs> I actually am really happy with this animation. It's complete nonsense, and I love it. I absolutely love this. I mean, like, a giant anchor from the heavens. Get freaking wrecked. I love that. That is... That is amazing. Everything about that is fantastic. Every animation should look like that. None of them should be serious. Anchor falling from the sky is definitely... This has got to be my favorite animation. Oh my god. This, this is stupendous. I need a moment. That is awesome. Wow. Get freaking anchored. I'll just be anchoring things all live stream from this moment forward. We're, we're just going to be dropping anchor over here. That is amazing. Why don't you use the expedition for those tests? You know, we could use expedition. We could use expedition. Um, that wouldn't cost me action points. 
Didn't occur to me. Look at that. You get the uh, anchor at a different angle here. It even shows up at a different angle because we're at a different angle. I love that animation. It's even got a shadow. The anchor, look at this. The anchor even has a shadow as it's coming in. Oh yeah, it's got a shadow. That's awesome. This is, this is amazing. This is amazing. Seize the day, says Baby Shark. Stop it. Oh my God. Stop it. Oh, this is spectacular. This is actually spectacular. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna anchor this one more guy. Oh wait, why hit it? Why hit that one? I'll hit this one. I'm gonna anchor this guy, and then we're gonna continue spinning the wheel. This is the literal best. This is the literal best. Last time I did this, someone made a little clip of it, a little uh, GIF, or is it a GIF? Which do you Which do you prefer? Um, and posted it a whole bunch of places, which was pretty cool. You're welcome to do that. Oh, uh, this see this angle is not good for anchoring. You we got we got like the front view of the anchor here. The side profile view of the anchor is my better angle. This is amazing. This is amazing. E Y S S God of Anchors. <laughs> I mean, throwing an anchor down from the heavens is pretty freaking impressive. What does Theodora do? So if YSS throws an anchor, any predictions on what Theodora is going to do? Just curious. What will Theodora do? Oh my gosh. Get freaking anchored. Get freaking anchored. All right, one more time in case somebody wants to make a uh, GIF and post it all over the interwebs of the new skill, the all anchoring. The old anchoring profile view, side view, side view of the anchor. This this is the best. I think he is good with Ethelflaed and mixed troops. Mixed troops is definitely mandatory for this commander. Uh, well, if he's expertise, it's mandatory. You have to have two different troop types. If he's not expertise, I suppose you don't. And I am on alliance territory right now, so I am getting you know the benefit of being on territory for some of his. Some of his skills do that. It might even... Is it the first skill that does that? I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Okay, cool. Um, and actually, you know what? No, 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 no. Chat brings up a good point. Chat, you have my back, and I appreciate that. We need to go into expedition. We have to go into expedition. Mandatory. Mandatory. We need to do this. We need to see what the garrison looks like. We have to see what the garrison looks like. I'm going to do Charles Martel, and then I'm going to do Anchorman. Anchorman. Oh my gosh. I'm calling him Anchorman. Anchorman is in. Yes. I I don't even need Mixed because he's the primary, right? Uh, that's good. All right. Anchorman is in, and now I'll just use my regular presets for things, right? Attila Takeda? Sure. Why the heck not? What do we got here? Remember when I said Guan Alex is good? I'm using it. What else do I got as a preset? Archers? Archers ho, baby. What else do I got? Uh, I think that's all for my good presets. Let's do... Uh, no, 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 no. Here we go. We got Khan, Saladin, Cavs. Start. This is awesome. So the question is, what does his garrison skill look like? Boom! Poured in, Chiskul. Here we are. I'm, no, I'm not even... You'll be fine, right, City? You you got this. <laughs> you got this, Anchorman. You got this. Anchorman's got this. Don't worry about me. I'm a little worried for Anchorman, actually. All right, Anchorman. What's it look like? Let's see what Anchorman looks like. He should hit three targets. Oh, what? <laughs> what is this animation? Does he... Is that a... What is that? Is that like a mine? Wh what? What? What is happening right now? I, I I don't have words. I don't have words. Chat, I can't even tell how you're reacting to this. What? Look at look at this. I'm definitely expertising this commander. I don't even care if they're good. I don't even care if they're good. Doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. Absolutely going to expertise. Slam dunk. No questions asked. Oh, it's a boat. It looks like it's a boat. 
I bet you that's like a kamikaze boat. That looks like maybe like a kamikaze boat, you know, like something that comes at you and it's not, you know, you just kind of like send it in that direction and it's designed to destroy other boats. Am I making that up? That's a thing, right? That's a thing, isn't it? Pokemon character. It's a turtle ship was used as a tank ship. Oh, it's a tank ship. Did you see to use that to board an enemy ship? Is that how you do this? Oh my God, it's so cool. Stop it. Stop it. This is the coolest thing ever. I mean, here's your opportunity. Make a make a GIF. Post it on the official Rise of Kingdoms Discord. Have fun. Enjoy. I'm enjoying. Holy jeez. I'm definitely enjoying. This is amazing. Uh, where is my e-song? Do you do something, buddy. Help Anchorman. Gosh darn it. Looks like Bowser. I mean, it does look like Bowser. It undeniably looks like Bowser. Well, I mean, you know, maybe a little like Bowser. All right. Well, this is astonishing. Uh, do I do I help my watchtower? Do I help? My, do I just I just let Anchorman do the job. Look at this. Boom. And it hits it hits three targets. Let's let's check it do that. Let's check it doing that. It should hit three targets here. Um, it should hit three targets. Can we see that in action? Yes, it hit three targets. We saw it hit three there. Really solid. Really solid. The cone is the same that you typically see for a commander that would hit three targets. Amazing. Rise of Kingdoms should have a naval battle, probably used for ramming other ships. How good is Kusunoki? Kusunoki's freaking great. Kusunoki's freaking great. Oh my god, everything about this is fantastic. I can't, I can't even, I can't even. This is the coolest animation ever. This is amazing. I will expertise this commander. He's a hero and has a movie. Admiral Roaring is current. Admiral Roaring Current is the title. Huh. Admiral Roaring Current. That is awesome. We're going to have to go watch the movie. We're definitely going to have to watch the movie now. That's happening. Uh, turtle ships participated in the war against Japanese naval forces. Uh, interesting. Huh. It's a turtle boat. Okay. And we won. Of course we won. We had Anchorman on our side. Holy jeez. Anchor, turtles, what's next? I don't even know. That was stupendous. Everything about that was amazing. 10 out of 10. I love it. Those animations are the most amazing. Let's, uh, I gotta keep spinning this wheel. I definitely have to keep spinning this wheel. His damage is amazing at 100. So his damage was amazing there because we had almost uh, three fourths of a million. Didn't we? We had 750,000 troops in our in our structure there, which is why his damage was amazing. Um, if we just go, we'll go take a look here. We got one sculpture from his spins. God, it's ridiculous how a nice animation, and I'm like, yup, gotta expertise that. Um, okay, so this is a base of 1,000 damage factor for field battles. And in the garrison, it's only 600 damage factor. And it's 15% less damage for each target that you're hitting. That's still more total damage, but it is, you know, making it much more reasonable that you're doing area of effect damage. In field battles and garrison battles, damage dealt also reduces the movement speed. Okay, so, uh, yeah, damage factor of 1,400 would be the truth. Also, I need to follow up on my promise to not leave a dirty node. There we go. Uh, more spins. More spins. M-O-A-R spins. One more. So look, his sword is so big. His sword is so big that he blocks like half the freaking wheel. <laughs> Do you see that? I can't even see what's on the wheel. He's like, oh, my sword's in the way. Hold my sword, bro. All right. Two more legendary commander sculptures. Boom. Love it. And what do we get over here? Boom. Five more legendary commander sculptures. God, this commander is just so cool. This commander is so cool. We have been angered, says Savit. <laughs> uh, you consider yourself anchored. 
Consider his linker. Got 53 gold sculptures for 62 spins. Well, Alan, that is freaking amazing. We just picked up two more uh, Isunshin sculptures. Very, very solid. We'll keep, we'll keep spinning this wheel here. We'll keep spinning this wheel. We got a universal. We got two gold stars. Two more gold stars. And wood. Eh, you know, wood. Universal. You know, technically, the universals are better than the YSS sculptures anyway. Because I'm <laughs> I'm just going to end up using them on YSS. But I can use them on anyone. Um, by the way, we're going to live stream again tomorrow. Um, is it tomorrow? Maybe it'll be the day after tomorrow is probably when that'll be around reset. Um, that way we can spin the wheel at the end of the day, not today, but tomorrow, and at the start of the next day. So we'll do both of them back to back for you. So be on the lookout for that future live stream. For those of you just joining, um, we will show the animations for this commander again. They are legit the coolest animations I think of any commander uh, by far. <laughs> this is my favorite. Not even close. Um, one sculpture in that spin, and then two pity likes and building speed ups. If you didn't see my last live stream where we rolled the dice in the Garden of Infinity, um, also known as Evil Candyland, uh, we renamed the research speed up spot, the pity like spot. So if you don't mind throwing some likes on the video, hey, that'd be cool too. Um, and consider subscribing for daily Rise of Kingdoms videos as we spin the wheel and show you the latest, greatest coolest newest commanders as soon as they hit the game because i mean dude i mean i'm gonna take this commander out again and you'll see what i'm talking about it, it, it's a pretty freaking legit it's pretty freaking legit one more isunshin sculpture in the bank will spin again just before reset yeah just before reset not today but probably tomorrow that way we can do two wheels uh well a hundred spins in total. We can do a hundred spins in total all together in one sitting. Um, that'll be pretty cool. Three sculptures there. Three sculptures. Really good. 45 spot. Boom. 10 YSS sculptures out of the deal. Overall, I actually think these spins are going just okay. They're just okay. We didn't get any eight spots yet. Uh, if we get an eight spot, then we step out of the realm of okay and into the realm of good. Uh, and <laughs> we got the pity like spot yet again there yet again yss plus esong best garrison combo um you know my my bet my i would put money i would put money on theodora yss being the combo and the reason i would do that is that theodora clears debuffs if your city is getting multi-rallied if your structure is getting multi-rallied if you're defending for arc of osiris those are all the situations i'm most afraid of um, then you're going to have a lot of, of debuffs on you. She's going to clear them all. She's just, boom, gone. And then she's going to do AoE. Amazing. Amazing. And then this guy's going to turtle ship the heck out of somebody. So get turtled. Imagine 10 YSS in KVK open field. So he's not good in KVK open field. Um, I don't think he's going to be good there. I don't think he's going to be good there. I think he's going to be slow. He's not going to have any march speed. One more YSS sculpture. Two more pity likes. And 45 hours of speed ups. Not so bad. Not so bad. Um, what can I do when I can't reach the top places in Mighty Governor to get a commander? So you have to wait until the Card King comes around in that case. Um, you have to wait for Card King. Did you see those boats? Chiskul. The boats were freaking amazing. Boats, 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 boats. Okay. I feel like that had to have been. Wasn't that a song? Boats was a song. Boats was definitely a song. Was it not a song? Um, let's look at this commander. Let's look at this commander. We got some skills. We only have 21 extra sculptures from our spins. So we really didn't get that many sculptures here. We got 15 from the milestones. So that means that... We didn't really get a lot of sculptures. We didn't really get a lot of sculptures here. About 16 sculptures from the wheel. 15, 15 from the mile markers. Eh, you know. Let's uh, smack a couple upgrades onto that first skill. 
Damage factor now up to 800 for the AoE. Damage factor now up to 1,000 for the AoE. I mean, oh my gosh. A naughty song? Is it a naughty song? Is that how that song goes? All I said was the word boats. Okay, so if we go back to the expedition, um, for those of you just joining us, and you want to see just how outrageous that skill is. You want to see just how outrageous that skill is. Um, I'm, I'll put him in a rally. Challenge accepted. Does that mean his anchor gets bigger if he's in a rally? If he is rallying, does his anchor get bigger? <laughs> I don't know what you're thinking. I'm thinking that I'm going to use... What commander should I use to rally stuff? Not Barka. Should it be Barka? Who should I rally with? I I guess I don't have to bring mixed troops. I don't actually have to bring mixed troops for him because I don't have multiple skills on him. So we'll do it this way. This is this is fine. We got that in that's that's our rally. That's all I can bring. Okay. Well, that's a pretty small rally. Whatever. Uh okay. Calves. I'm going to swarm. Whatever this is, I'm swarming it. I don't even remember how this works anymore. I'm going to swarm it. All right, we got this. Uh, I guess if it counts as a city, I could do Barca. I can even do... I don't, I don't even care. Let's, let's mix it up. I never use Freddy. I never use Freddy. Get some action here, buddy. This is a terrible... Those, that is a terrible combo. Don't do that. Saladin. Oh, yeah, we got to use Saladin. We got to use Saladin. Wait, this is mandatory, but I'll use him as a secondary. I'm not getting any loot anyways, right? All right. All right. Here we go. Anchor. Anchors away, baby. Anchors away. How do I select? Can I select all my marches? Give me. I can't select all of them. All right. All right. Walk slowly then, I suppose. <laughs> Whatever. They'll get there eventually. <laughs> How big is your anchor when you're hitting a city? That thing you've always been wondering. We're about to find out. The size of the anchor. But I'll, just look, it's not the size of the anchor that matters, okay? Everyone, it's not, it's not about the size of the anchor. Here we go. What do we got? Here's Guan. And, oh yeah, that's a bigger anchor. <laughs> that city is getting anchored. All right. I don't even know why I'm hitting the other stuff outside the city. Hit the city. Swarm this sucker. Attila Takeda. Yes, yeah, swarm it. Esong, swarm it. Let's go. City time. The city's going down. The city's getting anchored. Anchors away, baby. Anchors away. <laughs> oh my god, that's that is the literal best. Honestly, ten out of ten, Lilith, for the animation on this commander. And not uh, this is this is the best. The literal, the literal best. Oh my gosh. Oh, man. So even though this commander is not designed for hit his, hitting cities, his anchor does get bigger over that activity. Boom. Anchors away. You've always been wondering, he says, five minutes after we have seen the anchor for the first time. Anchor, but no boat. Well, we'll show the boat again. We'll show the boat again. That was an overwhelming success. I, I came... I saw, I conquered. Guan said it, not me. Okay, so now we go and we will do this again so that folks just joining us can enjoy the anchor. Um, who will defend my city this time? Uh, Sun Tzu. Yeah, let's do Sun Tzu. I think I have a garrison build on him. Maybe I don't. Who even cares? And Anchorman. Boom. Infantry. Yeah, why not? Sure. Sure. This is totally legit. Totally legit. Totally legit. Same size? What? It did take an extra month for this. I guess it was for the animation. I mean, I think it was worth it. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I think it was worth it. This is pretty legit. Here we go. Here we go. Look at this. Look at this. Sun Tzu and Anchorman. These guys are going to get wrecked. Boom. Rapid fire out this boat. Nice. Oh yeah. Look at the, look at what Sun Tzu does here. He is just such a beast. He can hit five targets, right? Can't he hit five? Man, he just does work. 
I love it. I love it. I'm going to watch the chat. My city's going to be fine. Anchorman's got my back. He's a grower of anchor. A grower or a thrower? <laughs> Chat's funny. Chat's funny. Delane's amulet, good for a flag rally? Yeah, it's good. Delane's is better in the situation where you are a counter rally or an additional rally beyond the first. It's better in those situations. Because a lot of the damage you're taking is counterattack damage, you see? No, I didn't get to spin the wheel. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Uh, I use Silent Trial on Delane's Amulet. Yeah, that's good. Those are good. Those are good. Those are definitely good. What, what is this Richard doing all the way back here? Get out of here, man. Look at this guy all the way in the back. I, I, I gotta have my boats going in front. Hitting all these guys in front of the city, you know? As a free-to-play, should I go for Richard or Esong? Definitely Esong. Definitely Esong. Slam dunk the Esong. Esong is so good. Chiskul, I got four 8X Alex heads and 57 total on his first wheel. Jason, gosh bless, you are a genius. Genius level execution. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I did not get that many. I definitely did not get that many. But look at these boats, baby. Look, look at these boats. Look at all this damage. Boats. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, my gosh. Ramses 2. When does Card King show up for the first time? You know, I don't know offhand, but if you go to my Discord, linked in the description of this video, or also linked in the description of this video, is my Ultimate Legendary Commander Investment Order. Uh, both of those sources will have for you an animation, or I guess an infographic, put together by Stormy from Kingdom 1206. He's also a moderator in my Discord that illustrates the timing of the Wheel of Fortune, Mightiest Governor, and I think Card King? I think that's in there too. Check that out. Which commander from each tier should I be using the Universal Sculptures on? Uh, what do you mean by each tier? What do you mean by each tier? Just want to say thank you for posting the gathering video. You're welcome, uh, Theodorette. You're very welcome. As a free-to-play, should I ignore Richard? No, I don't think you should ignore him. I think he's very good. I think he's very, very good. But I think you will get more value from your e-song. I think you'll also really enjoy Alexander the Great. And Richard I has still got a really strong role in the um, in the Ancient Ruins and Altars of Darkness. Really good in that role. Uh, and the reason that I like that is that you really have a lot of sustain, which means you're not walking back and forth as much. The downside is you are a little bit slow. So in a perfect world, you got, you know, the Richard Alex as a combo, get a little extra march speed. Very, very solid, very solid. That animation is freaking sweet. I know. I know, chat. Tell me about it. That animation is amazing. If you are enjoying this live stream, do me a favor, drop a like on the video. Consider subscribing for daily Rise of Kingdoms content. This is stupendous. This is stupendous. Um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to buy this bundle. We need to buy a couple bundles. We need to buy a couple bundles. We need to buy this writer of history for sure. Something's going on with my payment. So let's go and fix that real quick so we can buy this. We are going to turn off ye ol' ye ol iPad. I don't know why suddenly it's ye old iPad. I, that doesn't make any sense. Um, but here we go. We'll turn that off real quick. And we're going to go in and figure out how we can make this purchase. Maybe it's all fine now. I think it is. Really? Oh, now we're good to go. Now we're good to go. No, oh, that was easy. I didn't have to do anything. I literally didn't have to do anything. Boom. Writer of history. We got it, baby. 10 more legendary commander sculptures. That means we're at 1,510, which is kind of insane. We are going to spend these down. I will probably be maxing Theodora and YSS. So that's going to be at least, well, it's probably going to be 500 plus sculptures for me to finish Theodora after all those mighty governors. And then it's probably going to be, for me, realistically, another 400 sculptures for 
um, YSS. So that gives me 600 sculptures to play with, plus I'll get more. I don't know what I'm going to do next. Uh, I'm actually debating Constantine because I use him like he, he will. I feel like he will always have a role. He will always have a role in a canyon team and in the open field. He's just, I mean, this this buff is amazing. This buff right over here, damage taken, reduction of 10%. You drop that in a murder ball, it's just amazing. So I think Constantine is a likely next expertise for me. I was debating Artemisia. I was debating it. I still am a little bit. Ramses would be kind of cool to do, especially because I have so many sculptures on him already. Um, well, we'll see. We'll we'll see how we do that. But what we need to do, what we need to do, is get some hammer and anvil. We gotta get some hammer and anvil in our lives here. Hold the phone. I'm totally gonna sneeze. Ugh, sneezing on the live stream. I feel like that's like a habit I have. Okay, it wouldn't be a live stream without a sneeze. Let's put up the spam blocker. Boom. $5 hammer and anvil is on its way in. Double click, make a purchase, and we're good. All right, here is what is in the $10 bundle. Some material chests, resources, looking good. Let's make the purchase. Double click to pay on the iPad Pro. Apple should sponsor me. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? They don't really sponsor anybody, but whatever. All right, boom. Because I do advocate for Apple products, but I'm probably going to be building my own computer. That's going to be a thing. Here's what is in the hammer and anvil at the $20 tier. Throw up that logo and make the purchase. Boop. Here we go. Getting those material crates. Let's line these up. Bada boom. All right, and at the $50 tier, we got some goodies up in here, mostly in the form of these material chests. We'll rock this out, boom, okay. Purchase is on its way in, and we're good to go, boom. One more hammer and anvil, spend blocker is up. I'll show you what's in it though. We got a legendary, two epics, six blues, and you know, like five days of speed ups, which is not a ton, but it's not nothing. It's not a ton. All right, there we go. Blocker is up. Double click to pay. And there we go. $100 purchase is in. Hammer and anvil bundle, everybody. So it looks like. We max purchase the hammer and anvil bundle, and that's going to give us enough spins for a day. So we should be able to do what I want to do here, which is not today at reset, but tomorrow at reset. Yeah, which is, man, days are weird because like technically it's, it's at the start of the evening for me, but Anyways, whatever. So not 24 hours from now, but about 48 hours from now, 47, 46 hours from now, we'll do a live stream where we are going to spin the wheel, then reset's going to happen, and we're going to max spin the wheel again to get a cool 100 spins on this commander. That's going to be the plan. That's going to be the plan. Um, and hopefully we get a boatload of his sculptures. Hey, pun intended. <laughs> Dad jokes. We got dad jokes. In the meantime, look at all these. Holy jeez. So many, so many reports and things. Okay. So what I wonder is if I go to my restart real quick, what wheel do I have on my restart? What wheel do I have on my restart? What do we got here? Could be something good. Could be something good. What do we have? Okay. We're in. And we'll claim all these goodies. Okay. Claim all these goodies. Perfect. Uh, crank through all this. Whatever. The usual stuff. We got a Wheel of Fortune. Ooh. We got Edward on the wheel. I mean, I think we got to do a few spins here. I definitely want to at least unlock this commander. Although, 
do I care about Edward? I don't think I do. I would not get Edward on this account. I'd take it all back. I would unlock him just to get the 10, you know, the $5 purchase for the 10 universals. Is that weird? Is that weird? Um, but I don't think he's all that great inherently. I really don't. I really... Not for not for this very low spend account. I just don't think that's the jam. But let's rock our free spin. We'll see how we do over here. What are we looking at? Okay, some food, whatever. Uh, and we actually do need resource tokens on this account, so I'll take it. We'll do the uh, 1x spin here. 50% uh, off. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Two gold stars. Um, and do I do a 5x spin? I'm going to have to do it at some point to guarantee I unlock this commander. So let's rock the 5x spin. And um, over the course of the next couple days, we'll do some 50% off spins to get the remainder of what we need here. We did get one Edward sculpture. Yeah. Two Edward sculptures. Okay, 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 okay. That's not so bad. We'll get a 50% off spin tomorrow and the next day. So we do need to do like one full price spin. I'm going to do it that way. One full price spin. It's crazy. It's crazy. This is what, okay, well, that's probably not worth 800 gems, but whatever. All right. So 2 million food. Very good. We'll lock that in the bank. I wonder who's winning Mighty Governor on my restart. That's such a funny Mightiest Governor ranking. 50 million. Ah, uh, 51 million. I remember those days. I remember those days when that was a formidable Mightiest Governor score. 51 million. All right. Um, we do need... Did I just gem that? Oh, gross. I don't even want to think about what I just did. All right. Whatever. I should put the gem guard up. We're going to do our free refresh. Boom. Get these. Boom. And, ooh, resources for all these goodies. We're definitely going to do it. All right, quests get done. Very nice. And a bunch of you have been asking, hey, Chiskul, what do you use on your restart project for Canyon? And I'll show you exactly what we use. And it's funny because I literally did not even play my matches in Canyon. Like, all I did was whichever opponent... I was there. I just selected the first one and I hit go. I didn't even move my troops around. And we did kind of an astonishing amount of winning. Um, and I'll show you what I'm using. I'll show you what I'm using here. Um, look at that. We're, see, we're 24. We're 20. I didn't even look at who I was fighting. I don't think I even won every fight, but whatever. Okay, I'll show you. Um, here's what we're using. We are using Joan of Arc with Boudicca. Boudicca's not fancy. Okay, there's nothing fancy going on here. We have the mixed troops. She's not even max level. She's not even max level, okay? Um, and then we've got Ethel with Sepio. I, I voted up my rating of Sepio in my recent epic tier list. Uh, you should definitely check that out. That was my video that I posted today. If you're using epic commanders, you should watch that. I think Sepio is great in this role right here, right here. This is what he does. So I'll show you. I'll show it in action. I'll show it in action. And back, back line, we've got Minamoto and Mehmed. And, you know, look, AoE damage is just really critical. Even though I haven't even unlocked his other skills, he's 5300 and I'm using him. And I think it's right. I think it's the correct play here. And my Minamoto's not even level 50. I can't believe I win ever. Uh, here's our E-Song. Yeah, uh, wait. I tapped the wrong thing. Whew, I was like, what? Here's our E-Song Kusunoki. Here's our E-Song Kusunoki. I also mentioned Kusunoki is... Really good in this game mode. He is really good in this game mode. He is really good in this game mode. Devils, good to see you. Hey, Groggy, how's it going? How many sculptures did you get, Groggy? How many sculptures did you get? Devils likes Edward but doesn't have him. I don't know. I'm not. A, I'm not a huge fan of Edward. I'm not a huge. Not a huge fan of Edward. Oh my gosh. I had Sepio with Caesar when I first started. Do you miss the unlock, Shifty? You did miss the unlock. We are, we'll go back and show off the boats again because it's basically the coolest thing on the face of the earth. All right. Um, and here's our off lane. Our off lane is Uji Mundok and our Sun Tzu. That's what we're using in the off lane. It's conceivable. No, I like that. I like that. Okay. So, you know, we'll go, we'll go battle some people. 
Look at all these legendaries they have. I don't even care. They got Ethelfled and Pelagius. I actually think that's a deceptively good pairing. They also have a Sun Tzu with Joan of Arc. All right, let's see what we can do. What could we do into this pair? Um, I think we, I think we go, no, I think we go like this, like this. I think we go like that. And I think our Sun Tzu AOE, especially we'll do it this way. I think our Sun Tzu AOE will hit their Sun Tzu, but then I guess we're getting hit by their Sun Tzu and they have a buy bars. Okay. Just kidding. I'm going to, I'm going to put them up there. Yeah. Okay. Sure. We'll do it this way. We'll do it this way. Like the sunset marches? Tell me about it. Boats? Dude, there's boats. We'll show off the boats. We'll show off the anchors. Dude, it's crazy. I have no business winning this. I don't know if I will. I might not. But watch the Ethelflaed tanking. I'm pretty sure that my, that looks like it's an expertise Minamoto doing some work on me over here. My Minamoto is not expertise. He's like 5-3-1-1 or whatever. I have no business winning. I might, I might, I might not win. It's very conceivable that I will not win, but it looks like I'm going to. <laughs> it does look like I'm going to, doesn't it? Uh, yep. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Yeah, we got this in the bag. I have no business winning canyon matches, and I'm now ranked 14. Ridiculous. I have no business winning canyon matches at all. Look at all these legendaries. There's no way I can beat this guy. There's, no, we're doing it. There's no way I can beat this guy. There's zero chance. I have zero chance. This seems impossible. Um, Joan of Arc does healing, but not that much healing. But there is, there is a Boudicca in there. There is a Boudicca in there. I think we do it this way. I think we're going to get so wrecked. Those cavalry in the bottom lane is actually really smart. Because my archers have to go down there. I'm going to get wrecked. I don't think I can do anything about that either. Uh, not really. Nope. This is going to be bad. I actually, I actually think I have no business winning this and I don't think I will win this. I never get lucky with spinning. You know, Devils, I feel like I don't get all that lucky either. Call me crazy. Oh my gosh. Dude, look at my Joan is just getting obliterated. My Joan, my Joan Boudicca. That is not... Wow. But I took out their Minamoto. So it's okay. It's not amazing. And in the top lane, I'm I, I'm telling you, I have no business winning this fight. But but I'm actually still in this somehow. Not for long though. That dude, that con is obliterating my archer march. Yeah, that's that is not good for me. All right. Well, I'm not gonna win this. Can't can't win them all. Especially when they have a lot of legendaries. I, just, I should not have taken this fight. All right. But you get the idea. Like, I just I just go in. I don't have time. I hit challenge. Sure. Like that. I should have moved them. Whatever. I got my best rounds of e spins ever this time. Nice, Kava. Good for you. Uh, defeat. Okay. What else we got? Uh, sure. This one. Whoa. Um, we'll go like this. That is probably correct. Sure. Your rolls on the Candyland. Oh god, don't even don't even get me started on my Candyland. Victory. <laughs> Victory. Yay. All right, what else? Challenge. Uh okay, we'll just do the same thing. Right? And and, and the lineup basically plays itself cuz I got to have this over here. This player may not realize their E-song is in the wrong position. Because their, their Esong, what he's going to do, their Esong, so pretend I'm them, he's going to walk over and he's going to go like this and hit here. So it's kind of wasted expertise if he has it. Devil's rocking the T emojis. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. If you're enjoying this live stream, consider dropping a like onto the stream and subscribing for daily Rise of Kingdoms videos. Oh, YSS. God, I love the new YSS. That dude is the freaking jam. He literally throws anchors. I mean, like, and you look at that, you look at that, uh, you know, avatar, the way they drew him up. He does look like he could throw some anchors. What I will say is that I'm actually in a little bit of trouble over here. I'm in a little bit of trouble over here. They're doing very well. 
Um, my top lane is looking good. My bottom lane is looking extremely precarious. Uh, but I think I'll come out on top, maybe. This is going to be really close. This CPO top lane is doing very good tanking, which is why I upped my rating of CPO. We upped our rating of CPO. Each commander has a few wheels. 55 YSS sculptures on the first round. Wow, Rockstar. Well, you definitely did better than me with my uh, 31 sculptures. <laughs> 31 sculptures, but this is typical for me. I think my random number generator is broken. This is really close, and yet somehow we still won. Okay, and um, one more just for good measure. Ooh, this is going to be pretty good for us potentially. Um, so the E song goes here so that he goes, hits everybody, and I don't think they have a healing debuff, so... The position of the Ethel and the Joan is a little bit discretionary. If I wanted more damage in the bottom lane, which I don't think I do, I'd put the Ethel down there. I think the top lane is a fine place for that. Do I want to switch that? I think I do, actually. I think I do. Um, yeah, there. I joined your kingdom. Now will I be getting YSG at all? YSG will show up in Card King for you. So Card King is where you'll get your Esong sculptures. That is the easy place. Dude, look at this. My Sun Tzu is going to hit this guy. Look at that. Is it going to hit him? It did. It definitely did. Oh, man. That's a really good position for me. I don't know if I'm going to win this, though. I actually, I don't know if I'm going to win this. My top lane's looking pretty good, but not amazing. Definitely not amazing. My mid lane is in trouble. My bottom lane is kind of hanging in there. Um, but, you know, we're just counting on the tankiness of CPO right now and his healing ability to, you know, just hang in there. My top lane is, is on its way in, and that's going to make the difference there. That's going to make the difference. And it's remarkable. I barely play this account. I honestly barely play this account. I barely have time to play this account. I have done almost none of the events on this account. And we're eighth. We are eighth. We are in a kingdom with legit players. All these players are legit. We are eighth right now in Canyon, which is ridiculous. We have no business being eighth. None whatsoever. None whatsoever. I don't even have my commanders maxed. I mean, like, you get a level, I'm using a level 49 Minamoto. Like, give me a break. Give me a break. Oh, I guess it's 5512. All right, it's not quite as low as I advertised. How many, how many stars do I have? Should we star them up right now? How many stars do I have? Not many. Whew, not many. I mean, if I star him up, I can't do anybody else. I can't do anybody else. You know what I do want to do? You know what I do want to do? Alexander the Great. I'm going to do this commander next for sure. 281 sculptures. That's enough to go 5511, five, isn't it? I could do that. Couldn't I do that? I'm, gonna, I'm definitely doing that. 5511. Five, I don't have Constantine. Otherwise, I'd do some stuff with Constantine, I think. I could even put a talent point over here. What am I doing with Joan of Arc? What am I doing, Joan of Arc? Um, where am I putting points? Where am I going? This does nothing in this game mode. I got like five points. I got three over here. And I think I gotta have this to get that. So I don't think this branch really does anything for me. Hmm, three points, five points. What do I got? Two points over here, a couple points. I guess I go over there. I guess I go over there. How else could I do this build? Why does this feel like it's weird? This feels weird. Why Why does this feel weird? I could go over here. I could go over here. I can go over here. That seems fine. Did I do that? I do have that already. All right. And then I definitely want to get this. Three points over here. And I don't... Yeah. Actually, I would absolutely want to get this. And that gives me eight points. I definitely want to go over here and get these talents. That seems like a no-brainer. And then, yeah, okay. So... Huh. I go back over here. I guess I just... Let's just grab some stats, you know? I just get some stats that I want. Health of all units would be really good. March speed. Oh, that's really bad. I don't want to go over there. I don't want to go over there. But I don't think I have much choice. 
right? Like, you know, it's like, like if I make my way, let's see here, if I make my way over here and I go here and if I want to get to here, yeah, see, I got to, I got to do this whole branch. I got to do that whole branch, which not, does not do much for me. So I kind of, I just have some points here that don't do much. I have a, a bunch of points here that don't do all that much. I could put in the cage of thorns to help my ethyl flood a little bit, maybe. I guess I go here for now. Health. Health is not nothing. It's not nothing. All right. All right, that's that's fine. How are we looking here? Good. Do we have some gold keys? I think we probably have some gold keys to rip. How many gold keys? Nine gold keys. All right, let's open them. Let's open some gold keys, baby. What do we got cooking? Chiz school. How bad is it if I expertise Richard first? He's still level 60. Just finished the last Richard wheel. 500k T4 infantry. Still pretty heavy. Richard, if you expertise him, that's a fine choice. I think there are better choices. I think Esong is much more important. And the longer I give that advice, the more I become sort of con convinced that that's the right thing to do, that it really the Esong is better. Um, but... Richard is going to be great in the field. I really feel like his song is better, though. Um, I really do feel it's better. All right. Gold keys. Oh, okay, there we go. Three Caesar. We could put a skill on Caesar. Why have we not put a skill on Caesar? Why not? Poor K, no skill. Uh, oh, because we'd have to level him up. All right. That doesn't you know really accomplish much for me to level him up. That's fair. That's totally fair. Uh, yeah, that's totally fair. I could put, you know, some experience on my Joan of Arc, but I kind of, I don't know. I run around and kill barbs with Joan of Arc. I get some experience that way. Baby Shark, want to try my R2 E-Song? R2 E-Song. Baby Shark, just would you go all infantry in a 2v2 or mix it up? I don't think the archers can counter the infantry that well. I think that R2 E-Song could be really good. Ramses and E-Song... In a 2v2 tourney, the healing is really good. Don't sleep on healing. Don't sleep on healing in a 2v2 tourney. So just to give a little context, our kingdom is doing a 2v2 tournament uh, where like everybody gets to bring two commanders. To, well, sorry, two commander pairings. And uh, the winner gets a bunch of gold. So I don't know what my pairings are going to be yet. Uh, and obviously I can't talk about them on the live stream, give away all my secrets, but I don't know what my pairing is going to be yet. All right, we'll go gather those resources. I feel good about that. I got to use a boost here. Keep that going all the time. A little defense, a little attack boost. Got to have that rolling. All right, so that, that covers what I think I wanted to cover on my restart here. We did the good stuff that needed doing over here. And we also have my farm. We also have my farm. Do you know what's really funny? Is um, I just expertised Esong on my farm. But I totally could have instead expertised YSS. I feel like Esong was the right choice, though. Esong was the right choice. But YSS is looking pretty beast. Pretty beast. Um, in just a moment here, we'll go back over to the main account. And we really need to go and anchor some people. We'll show off the anchor yet again for the folks that haven't seen it. Because, I mean, obviously, right? We got to go and do that. We also could stand to... Um, lol, damn, my bait didn't work. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, let's see here. We'll rip this open. We got to get all these goodies on the farm. And, ooh, okay. We got to spend over here on the farm real quick. Boom. Trade in all those resources for basically anything of value. Very nice. Get all this. Line up more of that. All right, cool. Cool, cool. Looking good. Looking great. Yeah, uh, yeah I'll claim these. I did not purchase on my farm. I did not purchase the, uh, you know, divine inheritance. Maybe I should have. It just felt like for a farm that was a little bit much, you know. For a farm, it felt like that was a little bit much. All right, we'll claim all these goodies. Boom. And let's go to the wheel. Pretty sure we can do the wheel. Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah. All right. YSS free spin. Let's start there. See how this goes. YSS on the farm. <laughs> uh, okay. Four, four stone, not amazing. We'll use the 50% off spin. I bet you will get the eight spot, you know? No? No eight spot. All right, all right. I just thought it would have been funny if, like, we did it on my farm but not on my main. Mightiest Governor, Rome. Okay, cool. We're going to clear out all these goodies, all these messages. We do need to go hit the expedition, claim all these goodies. I get the resources, I get the stars, I hit the refresh. I don't need the epic stars though. All right, looking pretty good. Heck, I'll tell you, my canyon team, by the way, my canyon team, even on my farm, is like, it wins way more than it should. It wins, I don't even have my my actual level of my commanders represented. I gotta put more troops in, right? Like, this wins way more than it should. All right, cool, confirm all that. Okay. Let's switch back to the main. Let's go anchor some stuff. Let's go anchor some stuff. Farms always spin better. <laughs> uh, I always spin my farm first, then on my main. That's funny. That is funny. All right. All right. Let's heal up this hospital. These Teutonic Knights. For those of you that want to see the great anchor, the great anchor, and it is pretty amazing. Here we go. The great anchoring. Boom. And drop it down to get more animations in. Okay. Here we go, baby. Get anchored. Are you ready for the active skill of YSS? I was not ready. I thought I was ready. I was not ready. I was not I was not prepared for this. I gotta watch it. Oh yeah. Maybe it's not actually any bigger than when you're hitting a city. Maybe I take that back about the cities. Boom. That anchor though. Five 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 one saladin max minamoto. Good combo for rallying flags. It's not bad. It's definitely not bad. I think I would prefer a con in that situation, but but that's not bad. YSG only after the wheel of, of you haven't finished it yet. Hmm. Uh, prepare to get anchored. <laughs> prepare to get anchored indeed. Here we go. There's a, literally, it comes out of the sky. <laughs> Anchors from the sky, baby. Anchors from the sky. It is amazing. Everything about this is stupendous. I can't. I can't even. Oh my gosh. Right? That's, that's pretty legit. That's pretty freaking legit. Like, I anchored that Calvin like it's my job. Alright? <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright. I send that home. You've seen me anchoring. And, ooh, look at, look at all these resource nodes. Baby. I get that resource node. I get this resource node. But that's not all. Oh, but that's not all. Let me just claim all these treasures real quick. Gold chests. Uh, ooh, VIP. All right. VIP. I wonder when they're going to add in more VIP levels. Who knows? Gold chest. Ooh, thank you, Baby Shark, for the 15 hours of speed ups. And ooh, 200 gems from my Alliance member who made that purchase. And ooh, Buddha. Okay, Buddha. Ooh, thank you for 10 hours of speed ups. Juggernaut, the no scout, the five gold keys, the 10 silver keys, and six hours of speed ups. Hmm. Cool. That's pretty cool. Getting those speed ups, baby. Okay. Uh, so let me show you. Let's go on a little adventure here. We'll go on an outing or a boating, I should say. <laughs> oh, God, it's too good. It's, it's just too good. Who will we put on the wall? Who will we use? Who should I use? What what commander? Sure, Esong. He doesn't even have a build for this, but whatever. Uh, Esong and YSS. The E's. And yes, all archers. That's the play. 
So that means we get one march. I don't even need marches. Two marches. Where we're, where we're going, you don't even need marches. Uh, sure, I don't care. Three marches and a fourth march. Saladin. Con. Calves. Great. Start. Won't let me send another super chat. Good stream again. Hit like, y'all. If you don't mind, consider dropping a like on the video and subscribing for daily Rise of Kingdoms content. We're going to have more with a YSS for sure. The dude is a beast. If you were wondering, check this out. Check this out. Here comes Esong. Look at this AoE. Get wrecked. And then get booted. Turtle booted. Oh, yeah. Look at this. I can't even. Look at this Esong AoE. This is why Theodora is going to be so good. It could be Theodora Esong is just the jam. Maybe it's not YSS. It could be Theodora Esong is just the jam. Look, look at this. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I don't, I don't even, they'll figure it out. I don't need to help them. Is a 5111 Edward Max Esong worth it? I don't think so. I would not 5111 Edward. I would not invest in Edward. I just, I just, if you're not a big spender, just let that roll. Just let that roll. Boats, boys. Yeah. Turtle boated. Indeed. Indeed. Hey, just go, I'm conflicted. Should I start Esong or Alex? I think Esong is really legit. I think Yizong's really legit, but he really only gets insane when you expertise him. So if you want something more immediate, Alexander the Great is pretty phenomenal. 5511, you're good to go. But definitely max the second skill before you proceed. You don't want to miss out on that. It's really good. Best tree setup for now. Uh, what do you mean? Is a dragon boat? Someone said it was a turtle boat. Is a dragon boat? I mean, it looks like a dragon, but it also looks like a... A little bit like a turtle. A little bit like a turtle. Someone said rip audio. I don't think that's on my end. I don't think those. Not shield on bug. Um, so it's not expertise. Which is why you don't see a shield. This is a three zero 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 uh, YSS. Is Martel good as a 5-1-1? He's okay. He's okay. Edward has a great voice. Hmm. Uh, my kingdom is on day 55 and leadership has decided to rig Mighty Governors. That's a little early for that. I'm not going to lie. It's definitely a little early for that. Um, but hopefully that goes well for your kingdom. Hopefully that goes well for your kingdom. Because it's kind of hard to know who the big spenders are really going to be at that stage, quite frankly. It's pretty hard to know. But maybe, I don't know, if you had a group that all migrated in together, that could make sense. Turtle body, dragon head at the helm of the boat. That is true, Baz. I, do, I did see that. I did see that. All right, we're going we're gonna to give a little assist on this Richard and on this Martel. That way we can get that... AOE focused down into the center on these guys. Although this, dude, I mean, this this practically, it defended itself. Esong, Esong was really good. Esong was really good on this wall. Not gonna lie. He's wrecking people on their way in. Look at that, 15,000 damage just from the other army walking up. Crazy. Crazy. Then, boom, dragon boats in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Turtle ship called hmm, interesting uh had a boat model of it as a kid says steve fascinating all right there we go there you go that sweet animation i mean i think it's pretty awesome i think it's pretty awesome now you know look what do i think a good build is going to be for this commander for yss oh wait i have him now that's right i don't have to scroll all the way down for yss what is a good build going to be I really think that for this commander, you're going to want a build that looks like this. If you're doing Osiris, I think this is going to be the build. 
I think this is going to be the build because you get swarmed and this is really good. And people are really obsessing over whether Know Thy Enemy enhances damage reduction effects or it gives damage reduction effects. It's good either way. It's still really good. And Kingsguard is really good. And um, I would use like this. If you're defending your city, i do like this. And... I really would not go into leadership. I think it, I think it's a mistake to go into leadership. And the reason I think it's a mistake is that you really want this. You're going to save points for Hidden Wrath, okay? Hidden Wrath is the jam. This is the jam. It's so good. Six rage every time you're attacked. So it's huge anti-swarm technology. It doesn't make it so that you take less damage, sort of, or do more damage, sort of, except you're going to generate more rage which is going to mean that your active skills do more of whatever it is that they're doing. is really good. Um, and that's as far as you want to go. Nobody's got any healing. You don't want healing for defending your city, right? So healing herbs is three wasted points. If you're trying to get up to strategic prowess, you get two wasted points over here for march speed. You got two wasted points over here for march speed. So, so far we're up to seven points of waste. In order to spend four points on strategic prowess, which is only giving you 20% defense for two turns. Now, in fairness, you have all troop types represented in your city. That's pretty good. But unless your city is getting swarmed so that this is going off, you really don't have enough rage to fire off strategic prowess as you would like. And for seven talent points, I mean, I don't know. You could put that into a lot of other good stuff. He's leadership. Wouldn't the talent for mixed troops do well? I don't think so. I just I just think, like, do I want to spend six points? Well, no, 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 hold on. It, it, what, what you could do, you might say, I don't want to go to strategic prowess. You might say, instead, I want to go to arm to the teeth. So even if you didn't have any healing, okay? So it's three wasted points. To get 3% more damage dealt, that might be worth it. I mean, it might be worth it. It might be worth it, but what, what would you be giving up? What would you be giving up over here? What would you be giving up? You would be giving up uh, for defending your city. I suppose that could be worth. I suppose you could get rid of... Oh, verify. Testudo formation, which basically reduces your damage taken by 1.5% to increase your damage by 3%. But have, pardon me, wasted points? I think actually that might be worth it. I think that could be worth it. I think that could be worth it. I actually think that could be pretty good. So what would I, what would I do here? What are you, for defending your city, you could, well, I already have 10 points though. Hold the phone. I have 10 points already. I have 10 points. So I don't even need that many points to sort of start doing that. Hmm. Because 10 points, what are we talking about putting in the leadership right now? We're talking about in the leadership tree, right over here, boom. Boom. Uh, we're talking about how many points? I guess I'll just reset this. We're talking about this. So this is 10 points to go over there. Well, and then three more. And then three more over here. So we're talking about 6, 9, 12, 15 points in total. So we could do something where we have 15 points left over. And... You know, okay, so is it worth going here though? Three more wasted points? I don't know. How many points how many points will we spend to go here? Another nine. So twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six points, twenty-six points. There's a lot of there's a lot of points over here. Twenty-six points, which means what would we do for our city defense? If we did that our city defense build would have to get some changes to it, um, for sure. And I don't know if I love that. I don't know if I love that. We could reset this. We'd go over here. I still think this is really worth. 
you grab this and you get this and you have to get this so these are, these are all too good to pass up on okay from here i think like this is kind of mandatory i feel like this is mandatory because like they're pro one if you're getting multi-rallied something's going to do skill damage to you i think this is definitely mandatory i mean this is as good as hidden wrath it's the same thing so is this by the way all right so we'll get we got to get this so we need to have 15 points left so I can spend seven more points. That actually seems pretty achievable. Uh, what would I do for defending my city? I like this. And now I have 18 points left. So I have three points of waste. That's not so bad. So you could do something like this. And then with three points left, was there anything good in leadership? I don't think there was. I don't think there was. But I do kind of like this alternate build we're coming up with. Oh, yeah, okay. I don't, I don't love normal attack damage boost as like a thing that I'm investing in here. But you could do this. That this could be a build. Um, you're wasting six points. You're wasting six points, but you're basically saying because I'm going to have all troop types in my city, I'm increasing the damage of all of my units there by three percent that's pretty good i would do the universal troops for leadership tree yeah i mean because it's kind of like three percent less damage taken for infantry cavalry and for archers and for siege you know which is pretty good so 3% damage taken reduction, and that's costing us 6 points. That's that's not amazing, though, because if I look in the defense tree over here, and I know we're really going kind of deep on talents right now, but if we look in the defense tree over here, right, like, I'm, I'm already getting 1.5% damage taken net positive over here, you know? This is the same thing I was getting over here, except... I guess I was wasting a couple points over here. In fairness, I was wasting a couple points over here. I think this build for defending the city might be better. You know, I think this might be a better build. I think this is actually a better build. I think it is a better build. Why get balance with YSS since he does skill damage? Yeah, I, I, I know. The normal attack damage. I mean, he, he does normal attacks too, but... But yeah, I mean, he's, he's really all about the skill damage, quite frankly. But I actually, I kind of like this build, this new build that we came up with. You do something like this, and then in the leadership tree, I, I am liking this more and more now. You do something like this. I think this is actually better than I gave it credit for. I, gave, I think this is better than I gave it credit for. Um... And I think I got, I think I got tied up in how much waste is over here. Because there's a lot of waste. Like, like look, what are you, you going to use to defend your city? You're going to use Theodora, YSS, Isong, Martel. None of those heal. You don't want healing. So, but, but this is still so good that I feel like it's probably actually still worth it. It's probably still worth it. I don't think I'm convinced that this is worth it. I don't think I'm convinced. Balance is in the defense tree. Oh. Yeah, I know. You definitely want that. I think you definitely want that. Um, unless you know that it's like a single Attila Takeda rallying your city. Yeah, I think you definitely want to reduce the skill damage you take. I think you want that. I think you want this. That feels really important to me. Because if they multi-rally you with only one commander that does skill damage, you're going to wreck them. You're going to wreck them. No healing for the city. I agree. I agree. Can you get the top four? The top four what? Although he is secondary, all of this doesn't matter. If he is secondary, you're right. None of this matters at all. <laughs> but 
Theodora has the exact same talent trees. So if Theodora is the primary and he's the secondary, I don't know which one I... Oh yeah, no, I definitely would prefer Theodora primary. Because if there's any major debuffs on there, she's going to clear them off and maybe you haven't had them reapply for when YSS does his boating. Uh, balance is the yin-yang symbol. Oh, I like this one. Um, okay, let's talk about balance. Challenge my assumptions. Reduces damage taken by 3%, but also damage dealt. You know... You bring up an interesting point. If I think I'm going to be hitting multiple targets, I still think this is pretty good. I still think this is pretty good because I'm going to be doing skill damage to all those targets, normal damage to one of them, and all of that... Oh, and I'm going to do counterattack damage to all of them. Hmm. Interesting. Wait a minute. Hold on. Okay, I have a I have a silly question. I have a silly question. No, I don't have a silly question. So if they're swarming a city, let's say, here's how this works, and this is important. So they're gonna be taking counterattack damage, but they're not gonna be dealing counterattack damage, actually. So I, I think balance, you're good to challenge this assumption. You're good to challenge this assumption. I don't know that these points are worth. The more that I look at them now that we talk about it, now that we talk about it, I don't know that these points are worth. Does that mean I have 22 points to work with over in the leadership tree? Hmm. That is very interesting. That is very interesting. Could be. Could be that I have more points to work with. So if I take these three points back, I go one, two, three, four. And then I go one, two, three. I mean, I can nearly max this. I don't know. I don't know. Balance is good. Balance is good. I, I am questioning it now, though. Let, let's say you really do area of effect damage. You're doing skill... Hold on. Let's, let's, let's go back here. Here's the situation, okay? The situation... And by the way, I think this is the kind of stuff that most people aren't thinking about. They just like slam a build, rally stuff, take rallies, whatever. I think this is how you get a lot of edge. So, reduces damage taken by 3%. And reduces damage dealt by 1.5%. So I'm going to be dealing counterattack damage to everybody. I'm going to be dealing skill damage to almost everybody, but not quite. If I have Theodora Isong, then I'm doing skill damage to everybody. And they're going to be doing all normal attack damage to me and skill damage, but not counterattack damage. Only the main thing hitting me is doing the counterattack damage. So is this actually good? I think it's still good. I think it's still good. I mean, like, unless we think the amount of damage I'm dealing greatly exceeds the amount of damage that I'm taking, then it's not as good. Do you see what I mean? Do you see what I mean? I don't think it's quite as good. If if what we're saying is actually, you know, Chess School, the rally is going to have 2.8 million troops in it. And your city is going to have 8 million T5 troops in it. Right? What do I have? I have 8 million T5 troops. What do I got? Not 8 million, but a lot of troops, right? I got... I got eight and a half million troops doing damage to them. I actually can see how balance would be pretty bad in that situation. Because the amount of damage that I deal is going to exceed the amount of damage that I'm reducing that I would take. 
See what I'm getting at? See what I'm getting at? So if we did this again, if we did this again, if we, if we oh man, I, I think I've talked myself, in, myself into a different build. I think I really have uh, reset this, which I was not expecting. But this is why you got to really think about this stuff. All right, we go over here. Boom, boom, boom. We go over here. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, we go... Uh, I, I think you got to get this. Because if you're getting multi-rallied, they're going to use skill damage. They have to. You got to get this. Definitely this is worth it. Right over here. A lot of stats. Okay. A lot of stats over here. A lot of goodness. Now, I would really like to max this one as well. You are going to take a lot of damage. And if you are swarmed, you're screwed. That is true. That is true, but you're going to do more counterattack damage than they're going to do normal attack damage, right? Because your counterattack damage is with 8 million troops, and their normal attack damage is with 2.5 million troops. As an example. Ooh, Craftsman. I don't know where we're going, but we're going there fast. <laughs> oh, there's Books and Battles. All right, we're not going anywhere. We're just burning skills now so people can donate and get currency. Um... So, so I got 25 points, but I want to put, I mean, this is really good. I want to put three points in this. I really, I got to get this. Baz, thank you for the $5 super chat. Sorry, buddy, was asking, didn't mean to have a 20 minute conversation. No, I mean, I'm, we're changing the build. We're changing the build. This is, this is pretty interesting for me. Um, and then, <laughs> I appreciate the $5 super chat though. We go in over here. We reset this. We have 25 points to play with. We have 25 points. If we go over here, this is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. Then we go 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Oh, 24, 25. 25 points is not a lot to work with. We actually didn't, we didn't have that many to work with to begin with here. We did not have that many to work with. We're, we're short one point even right now. Um, interestingly, interestingly, oh, we're short a lot of points. You know, this is funny. This reduces damage taken by one and a half percent, right? Wow, I think we're changing my build a lot. This is a little bit astonishing. I go over here. We do this. We do this. We do this. This is massive changes to the build. We do this because I still am very confident that they're going to wreck you with skill damage. You do this. Okay. And you do this. That seems important. Now I only have 25 points, right? 25 points. I think I... St is that what I needed? We go back over here. Ethel Flood, Talents, uh, this one, right? So this was 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16, 17, 20, 23, 25. So this is 25. So we're even short a point here. We're even short a point over here. Yes, that garrison side build is better. It gives you more skills. So... Where would I get one extra point? One extra point is absolutely worth it for this. I, one point is definitely worth it, but I don't know where it would come from. I don't know where the one point would come from, from here. Where would I take away one point to get what I need in the other tree? I am not sure. I am not sure. I think... Hmm. I feel like this is still good. If this does what I think it does, it's really good. If it doesn't do what I think it does, how good is it? I don't know. Looks like we got something new to test. Yes, Spartan, it looks like we do have something new to test. My friends, I think we're going to wrap it up here. We went off the deep end. Pun intended, with YSS and his anchor-throwing craziness, 
We talked about the builds. We still have a lot to figure out with that. But don't you worry. We most certainly will. And when we have, we'll make a video about it. Be on the lookout for a live stream coming very soon where we spin the wheel for YSS. We hit reset and we spin the wheel again. That's going to be a lot of fun. Until next time, my friends, you have fun smashing the kingdom. Thanks for watching. Consider throwing a like on the video and subscribing for that daily Rise of Kingdoms content. Take care, y'all.